all right so as you can see I've now entered my data ready to be reclassified so I'll just check on this change missing values to no data and then I will now name it as flood raster you can choose to leave it but then the reason why I'm naming it is because maybe <coughs> next time if you want to come and work on such a district you wouldn't want to you wouldn't have to pass through these processes anymore you just go and then you add them as data all right so okay all right so as you can see I have my flat raster here that are the flat zones <coughs> but the next thing I want to do is I'll just uncheck this elevation all right so I will now have to move this flood raster or maybe floodable zone on anyhow you 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 name it now I have to convert it to a vector so I'll just have to click on conversion to from raster and the raster to polygon all right so my input raster will be the flood raster the value okay and the output it will be flat zone I think I already did that you just name it as flat zone or oh. let me just name it level of flatability you shouldn't leave space maybe you, if you want to leave space you will have to name it in the layer right. okay all right so now as you can see and i have my level of flood play that the flood zone so now i can now remove my flood raster all right so the flood raster is out all right so if you remember we were talking of the district having most floodable areas and then the less floodable areas so we want to find out you just right click on it and then go to properties click on categories id check read code out of values okay <clears throat> so as you can see most flattable less less flattable okay all right so you can click on read code and then delete it and then just uncheck this all right so as you can see i have my most flattable and the less flattable even it's showing on this map but i don't like this color so i just right click on it and then maybe i'll go in for the red color the outline weight should always be zero i'll do same for less flattable maybe this time around i'll go for blue color The outline it was also zero all right so now i have my floodable area let me just rename this one all right so the next thing i want to do is find out the number of towns or settlements that are affected in this district or that are found or located in the floodable zone so the next thing i'm going to do is i'll have to add the town layer add data go to town all right so as you can see this has this is the town layer town layer for the whole of ghana so i just want only the towns for central east district so you use the geoprocessing to clip it and then towns you select towns the clip feature of the district and then maybe i want to name it okay i think i already named it here all right i think i already have it here all right click okay 
Alright, so as you can see, I only have the towns for Citro East District. Wow, there are so many towns in the Flatable Zone. Alright, so now I can remove this. And then maybe you might want to consider putting in rivers and then maybe roads. But I would prefer just putting in rivers. I just would just don't want my map to be so scanty. Alright. So I'll now have to go in the process and click my rivers. Alright, so I just want to name it Rivers. So the next time I want to work on it, I'll just click on it. Okay. Alright, so my rivers are now clicked. Alright, so I have my rivers here. This is the rivers. Now it should be in blue color. And then I have my settlement or towns in the district. <coughs> Alright, so the next step I'm going to teach you guys is you want to find out the number of towns that are found in the flood areas. Alright, so you go to selection, select by location. The target layers is towns. The target layers might be rivers can also be rivers if maybe you want to find out the number of rivers that are found in the flood area but I'm interested in towns so let me just check on towns and then the source layer when we talk about source layer we're talking about the floodable zone so I have it here level of floodability the spatial selection method maybe you can choose to maybe you want to maybe find out the number of towns that are within a distance of the source layer that's the flatter bosom that are within a distance but then we are interested in finding the areas that are completely within the source layer feature okay i'll click okay wow there are so many towns in here so many towns all right so we now have our towns we just we want to clip out these towns these ones here from all the towns in the district so the next thing we do is right click on towns selection all right so as you can see we have town new town selection i will check this and we have only our towns that are in the flatable zone this that's these ones all right so I can now uncheck my towns and then I'll name this I'll name it okay you let me name it here uh, towns affected all right all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to now add elevation I'm now going to add population sorry so what I'll do is I'll just right click on towns affected open attribute table wow there are so many towns in here there are so many towns all right so for the benefit of this tutorial I don't want us to waste time maybe writing or maybe inputting the population figure for all these towns so I would want to just remove some of these towns out and be sure that it will, it will remain in only at least six or seven towns which will make it very easy for us to analyze our data all right So I will remove these towns out. But then, if maybe the district that if you think maybe you can get time and then imp have the uh, input population data for all of these towns, then you can do so. 